Hello everybody, welcome back to Fantastic Gaming Plus. I'm Sin, here we are in East Shade. And I think if we go this way, it should take us somewhere. There's a... Oh, there's a person here. Hello, Mr. Owl Man. There's nothing like a good book on a day such as this. Oh, absolutely. Actually, books are the perfect way to spend any day. Do you enjoy reading? Sure, I do. I'm glad to hear that. Perhaps I can share my favorite books with you sometime. My favorite books are the ones that inspire me to write myself. How about you? Well, I feel the same way. We creatives, <laughs> me a writer, you a painter, we've got to stay inspired. Best way I've found is to drink many, many cups of tea. Always gives me a boost. Speaking of writing, if you find any feathers around here, I'd happily buy them. I'm constantly losing my quills. I figure three should do it. Sure, no problem. For now, though, I must get back to reading. I think something fabulously dramatic is about to happen. Is there something else? Um, do you have anything to say about Lindau? Lindau used to be right on the river until a mudslide destroyed most of the town. After that, the townspeople relocated to the coast. That's where I live, when I'm not camping. My house was the only thing standing after the mudslide. Oh, so it was your house that I ransacked? <laughs> I think I saw your house. I'm certain you did. Did you manage to take a peek inside? Yes, the curtain was open. Oh, good. I hope you found something to read that was of interest to you. <laughs> Many of the folk from Old Lindau moved there after the mudslide. The library there is of a historic note. Okay, thank you. Is there something else? No, there is not. Farewell. Fare thee well, owl man. Hmm. This book that goes off into nowhere. Literally. Literally goes off into nowhere. I wonder if these are going to be useful for something later. I'm just kind of picking them all when I find them. Hmm. Feathers. The guy's like, I'll buy feathers from you. Meanwhile, there's a whole bunch of feathers right behind him. <laughs> Brushery and stuff. I wish there was a map. A map would be nice. I have an idea of where I'm going. I can go give them my feathers now. Mr. Owlman, I've got feathers. Aha, my fellow bookworm. Yes, I have three feathers. Oh, wonderful. Hopefully this is enough to last me a while. Thank you very much. I do hate scouring the forest floor for these. If you find any more, I'll pay you one close to the piece. Is there something else? Thank you. Oh, bye. Oh, nice. Careful, there's an owl over there. Now, how do I get to the next place? I know there was that coach deer that said that they would take us to Navi. I'm so good at flapping my wings! Oh, good for you, kid. Hello. Can you take me to Navi? Ah, a newcomer. In the future, if you're ever in need of carriage to Nava, I'm your driver. Well, I would like to get there. I said in the future. I won't take you right now. Why not? You're a newcomer. And you've never been to Nava. Is not so far. And the walk is lovely. 
Everyone going to Nava for their first time should approach by foot. I won't be the one to cheat you out of an enriching experience. And if it's the cost of the toll bridge you're worried about, know that you would have to pay it whether you're riding with me or not, if it's your first time crossing. My ox is strong, no? Yes, he is. Too bad I will never know what it's like, because you're going to make me walk. But how do I get there? I ain't got no map. Can I go this way? Of course I can't go this way. But how the heck do I get there? Is there an actual path I can take, or am I just walking through the bush? Hmm. I don't think this actually takes me anywhere. I think it just takes me to this gazebo. Kids. I want to go over there. Is there a path I could take? Or must I trudge through the darkness and the bushes and the trees? Oh. Okay, well let's see if we follow this path. Where will it take us? Takes us to Mr. Owlman. I guess we're gonna follow this path then. Oh, pretty. There was a fisherman. Hello, Mr. Fisherman. Hello there, newcomer, are you? Trying to get across the bridge, I guess. I hope you've got the glowstones for it. It's not free, you know. The rule is you pay once and you can use it as much as you'd like. So what do you do here? I may. I'm a fisher. I catch fish, I cook fish, I sell fish. You know. But mostly what I do here is fish. Sometimes I like to visit town, but not very often. What's all that you're carrying? Looks heavy. Are you some kind of painter? Yes. Mm. You know what? Maybe there's a way you can get the ghost stones out of me after all. <laughs> there's a gazebo in Lindau. Real pretty spot. Maybe you've been there. Anyway, I'd like a painting of that view. Sure, I'll paint it for you. The gazebo is easy to find. It's just behind the inn. And I want the painting from the gazebo, not of the gazebo. It's the view, not the building, if you get my <laughs> meaning. I get it. Some fish unbiting today. All right. To the gazebo. All right, now we're here. I need to make myself a canvas. And then, what's the view from the gazebo? But he didn't exactly say what he wants the painting up. He just says from the gazebo. So I wonder. If you would be alright with a nice painting showing that. Showing the town. Ship. Maybe I'll do the ship. He didn't say what else, so. Okay. Paint. It's a beautiful ship. Alright, let's get back to him and give him this painting. Here you go, sir. I have your well, looky painting. Here, you've gone and painted the gazebo view. Are you willing to sell it? Of course. Here you go. Well, how about that? Got myself something fancy. Yeah, so fancy. Anything else? Do you round? Oh, cool. Give me twenty-five glowstone. What a nice guy. Okay, so I have to pay to cross. How much? Six, 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 six,
Oh my gosh! Where am I supposed to get the rest of the bloody glowstones? Hey, what's up this way? Something tells me I'm going to be looking for feathers. Ooh. I don't know what I'm picking up. It's like bush. Unless I'm cleaning up the forest floor. Oh, it's just another way in. Well, la dee da. Got to pay the bloody toll bridge. I got no sixty. Can they go in here? Oh, well, la dee da. I'll just close the door behind myself. Hello, everybody. My name is Sitastic. How are you? You got nothing to say? Neither you, nor you, nor you. Hello, Mr. Monkey Man. When I was a boy, merchants came to Lindau with strange spices and soft fabrics. They haven't been back in a long time, though. What does Lindo import now? We mainly get shipments of teas, grains and fabrics, and headwear of the latest fashion, of course. In any case, there's always lots of work to do around here. Cool. What do you have to say about Lindau? Lindau is a nice port town, although we don't have much to export anymore, aside from bloom sacks. Now, most of our tourism these days are just people passing through, on the way in or on the way out of Nava. Cool, what about That was the original Lindau. The town got destroyed after it rained every day for a solid month. The hill just slid away. There might be some stuff worth salvaging out there. Cool. Thank you. Hello. Ah, the traveling artist. That's me. You have good. Certainly. Cool. Oh, it costs glows. Stones. I don't have any money. I need to save it. Oh, what a book. The architect of Lindau. Lindau's buildings are engineering marvels, as difficult to construct as they are beautiful. The designs of these technical endeavors are the work of one eccentric genius, Azad of Taria. Five years ago, this incredible architect vanished. His whereabouts remain a mystery to this day. Though praised for his accomplishments in engineering and architecture, he is perhaps most widely recognized through Eastshade for a rare genetic facial disfigurement. A polarizing celebrity, many praise his genius, while others resent his supposedly arrogant disposition. Some even claim that his notoriety is owed entirely to the disfigurement, implying that his credited skills are, in actuality, nothing more than ordinary. However, one only needs look around the town of Lindau to see he has built something wonderful. Cool. Some dude with a funny face. Candles. Fabric. And just rob the place. It's like I'm in Skyrim. Shady and Folk Tales, Volume 1. Long ago, the air outside the planet grew terribly cold. Without any fur or feathers for protection, sun began to freeze. She decided to make her flames as big and hot as possible to keep herself warm. Sun worked all day and night to keep her fires burning. Enormous flames reached all the way out to our soil and began to scorch the creatures here. Fires raged, destroying homes and forests, but Sun was too exhausted to notice. Growing worried, the plants and creatures decided to help her. Together they gathered twigs, leaves, fur, and feathers, and wove them all together into a large sheet of fabric. They covered it with clay to protect it from fire, and the trees lifted the woven mass into the sky. Take this blanket to rest yourself in warmth, the creatures cried. Sun slipped under the blanket and wrapped herself tightly. Her flames cooled and dimmed, leaving the land creatures in darkness. When Sun woke from her nap, her golden light returned to the creatures, who danced and sang, thankful that their gift had worked. And so that is the story of Sun's blanket, which she still uses each day. That's so cute. Now, can I go in that other room? Is there anything to pillage in the other room? Oh, no, I can't use it. So I can sleep. Sleep, when should I wake? How about... Ooh, I can paint a picture of the eclipse. Cute. We should do that. So I think someone wants a picture of the eclipse. Let's rest until like 10.30 in the morning. And then go to...
that gazebo area. Yes. And paint a picture of the eclipse. Alright, let me up. Lay up, lay up, lay up. I want it. Looks like a card. It looks like a playing card. Excuse me, pardon me, huh? You're all alone now. Alright. Let's get ready for the eclipse. Get out of my way, child. <laughs> I always slow down when I go here. I don't know why. All oh, right. All right. Now let's take our painting. Ooh, look at that. Looks spooky. I don't know what I look scared. how we're gonna get the money to talk to everybody I'm sure there's other things to do than just finding a whole bunch of feathers I mean there's gotta be oh there's some people here hello hello a little owl family you guys don't have anything to say Oh, I can just skip the toll bridge. <laughs> oh, I can't. <laughs> oh, man. That would have been so much easier. I can just go across myself. I wonder what kind of animal I am. I hope I'm not one of those creepy looking monkey people. They're so weird looking. I'd rather be a deer. Or an owl. Or even a bear. I guess I could start asking people about the architect. See what people have to say about it. I mean, where else am I? What else do I do? Hey, child, how are you? Thanks again for the canvas. You're so welcome. What do you know about the architect of Lindau? He's some really old guy. I'm pretty sure. Okay, cool. Thanks. Very helpful information. Um, do you have anything to say? Mr. Bear Man? Some dock worker people? Oh, if only Annabelle oh, yes, could Annabelle, sail the seas once more. Can't you get another oh, ship? can this world be? Blasphemy! Have you no sympathy for the broken-hearted? I'm sorry. Now leave me be. I'm oh, not down with you. Such a good <laughs> What do you know about the architect of Lindo? Why everyone think I have something to do with his disappearance? I've never seen him. And I certainly haven't taken him as a passenger. Okay, thanks. None of that matters now, though. Oh. Poor ship. Now leave me be. Okay, bye bye. My gosh. It's like, let's just leave this place. Let's just go. Ooh, stop. Hey. Aww, hi, kitty. You look so nonchalant. Like you couldn't care less about anything in the world. take this boat and be on my way. Hello. My father was a fisher of these oceans, so I've been out on the sea plenty of times. I could never be a fisher, though. What do you know about the architect? Can you believe he came up with the plan for this city by himself? I'd love to meet him. Thanks for absolutely no information whatsoever. I'm just going to take my slow running legs and be on my way. Looking for things I can get money for. I'm sure there's gotta be more. More. Ooh. Don't mind me, I'm just coming into your house. Hi, how are you? Would you like to speak with me? Oh, you 
got a bunk bed. Oh, that is so cool. Ooh, put a fire in your bunk bed. <laughs> oh, there's nothing in it for here for me. Oh, there's another kitty. Hi, kitty. I wish I could pet you. You look so cute. Anyway, um, I'll just uh, leave your house now. <laughs> just entering random people's houses. Now that I know I can do that. <laughs> What's in this house? There's a guy with a jar stuck on his head. Well, hello there, sir. Who's there? Nika? Is that you? No. You must be one of the tourists. Terrible about the sinking and all that. Glad you're okay. Yada, yada, etc. Uh, but will you go get Nika, the innkeeper? I need help. Why is there a jug on your head? It's stuck, obviously. Now, would you be so kind as to go get Nika for me? How does that even happen? It, uh, it, it happens. It's fairly normal, really. Doesn't it happen to you from time to time? But seriously. But seriously, will you get the innkeeper? Sure. Brilliant. I'll wait here. Okay. Uh, All right. Innkeeper. There's a dude next door with a jug on his head. Uh-oh. Okay. You look well. I am, but your friend Goodness. has a jug on their head. That painting of the eclipse is lovely. Is it for me? Sure. I bet Sanja put you up to this. Ah, oh, this is lovely. You're too kind. I'm going to hang this in the room upstairs. Oh, cool. She gave me money. Thanks. Um, Essa needs you. Oh, of course he does. And what is it this time? That monkey has no eye. That is creepy. He has a jug stuck on his head. Again? That's like the eighth time. All right, then. We'd better go help. Okay, so while you're going, I'm going to say hello to this. I feel so adventurous staying here in Nendo. Uh, where are you traveling from? I live in Nava, but sometimes I just long for the primitive lifestyle Lindo offers. Lindo seems well established to me. How humorous you are! I like that in a person. Some may find the story of my journey utterly inspiring. Nothing could have prepared me for the muddy paths, the unbearable heat. I even had to eat outside. Overall, it was a dreadful experience. But I braved through it all. That sounds like the, quite the trip, but I barely survived a terrible shipwreck. Hmm. I'm guessing you're a bit inexperienced in travel safety. Perhaps you should consult me for advice before your next journey. Yes, because... I so dearly wish my friends could see how adventurous I've become. Okay. Bye. Dude. Oh, that's really stuck, isn't it? Yeah, it's pretty stuck. I think what we need here is some soap. Would you be a dear and fetch some soap from a means house? It's just down the stairs and across the courtyard. Sure. Down the stairs and across the courtyard. You mean this house over here? I mean, there's no other homes around. Hello, owl lady. Hello there. Can I help you, traveler? Uh, can I borrow some soap? Soap? Well, certainly. May I ask why? His hand's head is stuck in a jug. He did? Hmm. Is he a friend of yours? <laughs> We're acquainted now. Ah, well, I shouldn't gossip then. What's the dirt? He's just such a peculiar man. And you know what? I think Lenny is going to have some real issues when he grows up. Why is that? Well, you've seen him. The boy is unhinged. And not just that. I've been hearing a lot of yelling coming from that house. I think it's quite a broken home. You know, I imagine you'll be traveling all around this island, being a tourist and all. Perhaps when you get to Nova, you should let the sheriff know about Isan. I think it's only right, you know, for Lenny. 
I'll consider it. I think it'd be best for the child. I only have his best interest at heart. Isan is not a stable man, and wholly unsuitable to be a parent. Here, this will help you with the toll. Oh, wow, thanks. Right. Well, here's some soap. Thank Safe you. travels. Thank you. Been sitting there trying to gather feathers to build up enough cash for the toll, and then all of a sudden people are just handing me the money. Okay, guys, I got some you soap. You have the soap? Well, let's try this thing then. Here, let me have that soap. Alright. Get that jug off your head. Are you a monkey man? Well, I oh, guess it was convenient dude. that you dropped in when you did. Uh, thanks for getting Nika. You're welcome. Uh, how did you get your head stuck? Well, you are a nosy tourist, aren't you? Beeswax! Okay. Emine said she heard you yelling from your house. I mean? That nosy, stuck-up, goody, two talon uh, If you had to deal with what I have to deal with... She just doesn't like me because I'm not posh like her. This whole town is stuck up. Them and all their judging eyes. You know what? Get out of my house. You're just like everyone else in this town. Coming in here and telling me I'm a bad father? Get out! I didn't say you were a bad father. I know that's what you meant. Just get out. No. We're going to have a conversation like two decent animals. Get out! Maybe you're too unstable to be a parent. Oh. <laughs> Easy does it. Do you know your name? Fantastic. Okay, just have to check. Standard protocol when someone gets hit in the head like that. And do you remember what happened? Isan and I got into a tussle. Isan said you provoked him, is that true? I suppose. Did he at any point ask you to leave? He did. And did you? I was about to. Listen, I think I know what's going on here. As an official, I'm obliged to tell you, in the future, in situations like these, never confront the parent, ever. It's most likely they will deny and defend, and no good can come of that. If you suspect something, report it. Don't take it into your own hands. You stay clear of Isan now, and he'll stay clear of you. I'll be on my way now. Won't he be arrested? We've got it handled. Like I said, you two just stay out of each other's way. Okay. Okay, that was fun. Getting knocked out. <laughs> Bloody Isan. Oh, look at him now. He feels bad, doesn't he? I have nothing to say to you. Just get out. You do have a nice home here, I'm just saying. I'll, uh, go store time myself. Alright. So now we've got money for the toll bridge, I think. We should have plenty now. Yes, we do. Yes, we've got plenty for the bloody toll bridge now. Yes. I will be back, lady, for my fast traveling options. Hey, Sheriff, dude. I'm coming to get you. I'm coming to get you, Sheriff, dude. Your clothes are flipping through your fur. You don't look like you're from around here. I'm the Sheriff of the island. Glad to meet you. Anything I can help with? Are you very busy? Yes, extremely busy. It's not all about crimes and capers, though it is about that too. Anything else? Anything else? Apparently not. You don't look like you're from around here. I'm I the heard sheriff some rumors about Isan. Ah, I see. Rest assured, this will be handled. Thanks for bringing it to my attention. You're very welcome. Anything else? Nope. See you later. You get to walk across the toll bridge for free, I bet. Yeah, because you're the sheriff and all that. Am I getting to you? Am I getting to you? I'll just keep walking ahead of you until I get stopped by the bloody toll bridge. 
Oh, or you can just stop there and look at me disapprovingly. But anyway, we are going to go across this bridge in the next episode. So don't forget to like the video if you did, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next video where we cross this bridge and see what's on the other side. Until then, take care, eh?